coach, how was having uh, Javier out there for the first time today? Good. I mean, he wasn't in, in complete training because he had a long flight yesterday, but we'll continue to build him up. Happy that he's here. He seemed to think he was pretty close to playing shape. I guess he's, he just re he's played relatively recently. How, in your mind, how long until you want to see him as a regular part of the rotation? Well, that he's got to earn that spot, number one. But yes, his last game was uh, May 6th, I believe. Um, so, and he's been following the fitness protocol that Damien sent to him. So yeah, he might be close to playing shape, but I think Roman and Kim have done well. He's got he's to break into that. We'll see how rotation through uh, these next two games go. And then obviously there's a big break. And obviously we need to kind of manage that. He'll obviously be gone with Ecuador. We'll have other guys missing. So it'll really be, you know, before we really get his feet wet or our hands on him be after the uh, Gold Cup break. Is he, is the plan for him to though to travel to Kansas City and then is he expected to be available for the June 1st match? As, as long as all the paperwork, everything's done, I expect him to be available for selection and if we select him, he's going to Kansas City. Bro, I wonder some of the attributes that he brings on the field. Well, I, I, the film stuff, we can all, you know, we all watch a bunch of film and, you know, Chris Henderson, those guys watch them live, very composed on the ball, his positioning is very good, all of that sort of stuff. What I'd prefer to talk about is he's excited to be here, happy to be here, very respectful young man, just with his teammates, with the coaching staff already, with the training staff, a guy that fits into our culture. So that was very nice to listen to him talk and you know what his what what he wants to achieve here he did research about the team about what a good team we are what a good franchise we are and he wants to help continue that those are things that every coach wants to hear yeah how important is it to have someone who who respects the game is a student of the game and wants to get better it's great you, you, you can look at Christian you can look at all those guys you know two young kids coming off the field here Ocampo and Leva I mean, we all want them to be students of the game. We all want them to have that individual learning. You know, self-learning sometimes is better than somebody just writes it up on a chalkboard, you pay attention, okay, I, I understand the exercise, I understand the lesson. When you actually figure stuff out on your own, sometimes that's more beneficial for some people. Gustav looked like he was pretty much all in. Is he basically ready to go at this point? He's ready to go. He is in full training today, and that was a hard training session. So as long as he comes out of that okay, he's in. He's good. I haven't had a lot of time to talk about uh, Sporting Kansas City game on the week uh, weekend. They're obviously really banged up. So just your general thoughts on uh, that game and, and what, you're, what you're telling the team. It makes them a dangerous team because, look, they still have some talented players even though they're missing a bunch. Peter's a, a great coach. He does a great job. They, they have a system where players come in. They know the system. They, you know, whether it's a starter, reserve, a young guy that they're bringing up. I mean, Busio, that's a good story. I mean, they, they've got some talented players. So we expect them to, you know, be at home, be on the front foot, do all the things that Peter likes to do. And we'll try and counter that.